Hey, my name's Justin, and this is The Art of Repair. And today, we're gonna go over the temperatures that I use on the preset channels for my hot air station. All right, so before we get started, there's something very important that I need to tell you about the hot air station presets. First and foremost, if you think that I'm gonna tell you a number and that number is gonna magically make you a better micro solder, you got another thing coming, okay? You need to watch the thermodynamics video that I did and I'll put a link at the end of the video so you can check that out. But the, the video that I'm doing today is basically just going over my presets so that you, if you've already got like a good idea what's going on, you can just kind of see what I'm up to, okay? This is not a definite, like you have to do what I do here. This is just me and my personal presets that I use every single day. And this is only a few of them. I actually have two hot air stations stacked one on top of the other with, you know, multiple different presets for, you know, very niche and specific jobs outside of the basic stuff that I do. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump on in here and take a look, see here. And I'm also going to show you how to set the presets on your 861DW. All right, look at that. My good old quick 861DW. This is the best bang for the buck on the market right now. You better pick one up before you find out that these things are twice the cost in six months from now, okay? I've been watching real close and the price is just going up little by little. So think about it. Go ahead and get yourself one. These things are amazing. So with that being said, let's go over channel one. For me, channel one is underfill. It's the channel that I click when I need to clean the underfill out from around some components, okay? So what we're gonna do is on this specific model, I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna tell you the preset that I use and then I'm gonna set the preset up inside the hot air station itself, okay? So for me, if I'm taking underfill out, usually between 140 and 160. I usually kind of go a little bit lower with Apple products, a little bit higher if I'm doing some Samsung stuff, but right in the middle is gonna work real good. So let's go ahead and set it to 150 C. Okay, temperatures on this side. All right, so we're at 150 C. What about that airflow? I usually don't blast it. I usually run it about half, a little more than that. So let's go ahead and set it to 70. Oh, did we lose it? There we go. We're gonna set our airflow to 70. Now, some important to note here, if you're trying to match what I'm doing here to a different type of station. Uh, the quick 861DW um, takes its airflow volume and divides it by 120 points. The best way to figure out how you should set yours with my settings is to go and look at the specifications for the 861DW and your station, look at the output, see what kind of output it's gonna push out and then just kind of divide up there and see how many it's gonna fit in for that. So if you put 120 points in between your new station, you should be able to find a good spot you know, for you know, the airflow, okay? Um, now that we've got the actual, what is it? There we go. So we've got 150 at 70 airflow. Now, how do we set this as a preset so that it stays there the whole time on this specific unit? Super duper easy, okay? We have down here at the bottom, we've got three different channels, okay? so. We're going to hold down channel one. We're just gonna hold it, no big deal. That's it, okay? That's all you gotta do to set the station. So now whenever you're working, all you gotta do is tap your button, boom, you're right in the right temperature, no big deal, all right? So let's go to the second one. Channel two for me personally is my general everyday work kind of you know temperature. It's what I use to take off most micro components. It's what I use to put them back on, okay? Um, so for that one, we are going to change and go up to about 365. That's my general work temperature. And again, if you haven't watched my thermodynamics video, you need to get on it because it gives a lot more detail into you know how to decide what kind of temperature you need to use. Okay, uh, I'm at 365 at 70, and I usually again I kind of work around half there, and you know I, I don't really blast the board too much or anything like that. So let's go ahead and we're going to set the temperature. So we're holding down channel two, and here in just a second to lock it in place. Um, one small note here, whenever I'm putting something back on, I do lower the, the actual like airflow volume, okay? So I'll usually bring that down to around the 30 mark, okay? So keep that in mind. 
use a little bit less when you're putting it back on. You don't want to blast your chip off or a little bit of that air catch under the chip and whoop, gonzo. All right, number three. What is the third channel? The third channel, we're going to max it out, okay? Uh, we're going to do 500 at 120, okay? This is what I use to take shields off, okay? This is my shield removal channel, all right? So we're going to hold down number three. And there we go. That That's as simple as it is, guys. You just set your channels. You're good to go. And if you want to use what I'm using as a basic guide, great. But be aware, like, it, variables are different from person to person. Uh, how you hold your hot air to how close you are to what kind of nozzle you're using. Um, I'm using the medium-sized nozzle. So if you took a, let's say, just like a regular Bic pen or like a number two pencil and you stuck it in the end, it would be about the exact same size. I'm not sure off the top of my head what actual, like, millimeter size one that is, but... That's the one that I use. Just be aware that everybody's different, and so are you. You're different from me, and I'm different from you, okay? This is just a basic guide. So I hope that helps you out, and I will make another video on some extended temperatures I use for things such as like reballing, CPU rework. I, I, I'll make another one with some other cool temperatures that I use here pretty soon as well, all right?